Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, variations thereupon. Welcome back to RimWorld. When we last left off, we discovered that we had an absolutely terrible person to start with. And, of course, we have been struggling to survive by, you know, doing what needs to be done. Fortunately, we have some defenses, although... Only one trap is not going to do much in the long run. And so we need to make that a priority, but we also need to work on building this dresser to get our construction up so that we can at least have power. Because right now, that is looking very grim. And uh, we need to get working on that. So, let us unpause the game and begin. Oh good, we're getting some of these... Uh, uh, botched construction. Oh yes, my favorite thing. But we have to get some of these um, these traps up. We just have to. Or else it is game over for us. Because as, of course, you probably remember, we cannot heal ourselves. Yes. Oh, hello, wild creature. Unfortunately, you are doomed. We can't heal ourselves at all because we are incapable of caring. So we have to get some of these traps up to protect us. Oh, and this rat triggered our steel trap. That is frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. But anyway, um, I'm feeling quite a bit better since um, the last recording. Now that I'm finally starting to get over my pneumonia, this should sound a lot better. Oh, and of course, an eclipse strikes, but of course, as we're still basically living without power, this doesn't really affect us that much. But we have to get these traps up, or else we're doomed. And I think we can go ahead and not do these ones here. For now, if we can get this other one up, there should be plenty of traps to get us through for a while. We're okay on food here. We're about to get a harvest in. The rice is almost done. And of course, we are going to need a place to store this. Um, we cannot store it in here. So we're going to have to make a, another storage zone in here for the rice. And we're going to go here and we are going to clear all. We're going to allow food. Eventually, I'd like to get this cooled. Unfortunately, rice can last a little bit by itself. And of course, she's going to start repairing and disassembling this dresser because, of course, it's not a masterwork. Now, what this is going to do is this is basically just going to spam. Eat without a table. Awful. Well, you had a table. Oh, it is dark. Unsightly. Yes, this place is pretty nasty looking. Um, but what it, basically what this will do is this will force her to just spam the construction that she learns so very slowly at. Because we have to have enough to get power up. Now, normally I don't like to cheese these kind of things here, but it is absolutely necessity that we get power up because we need our robot friends in order to be able to survive because we cannot heal ourselves we cannot defend it's um it's something else that's for sure and once we get our robots up they can do a lot of these menial tasks and we can just focus on research with a research intellectual of eight we should be good to go there for a while um we do need to get cooking up um we're still eating our initial package survival meals which is not ideal I would uh, like to keep those, but unfortunately, I don't really have the time to be cooking that much at the moment. What we could do is we could throw down a campfire and just roast some rice over the campfire. So let's go ahead and get that queued up. Is that under production? It should be. Um, we could also throw down some 
shellfish traps, which would be useful to get some fish in, but we wouldn't be able to keep it alive. Or not alive, keep it fresh, rather, for a while. So perhaps once we've... Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're praying. Oh, oh my. Okay, this herbal medicine needs to be hauled urgently, please. Oh, there's no storage space. Um. Okay, well, let's just expand it a tick. And th then it should be allowed. Now, will you please come haul that? I don't want it to go bad. Thank you. And how are we doing on our... Construction. We are almost to level four. And then I believe that's what this requires. Um, construction level four. Fantastic. And of course, we're going to get a good night's sleep. And how, how are you doing? How are you doing? Um, you're hungry, um, but, you know, and your recreation's going down, but you know what? You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So there was talk of a fire pit, and that is something I do want to do before I get too distracted here. Um, let's see here. I don't remember where it is. It's probably under temperature. Yep, there it is. So we're going to go ahead and just have a basic campfire i'm gonna put it over here um out of the way so it just doesn't um let's go ahead and get an order to chop some wood that can be handled by our robot friends later on we are going to need some more wood to throw into our cheesy construction yes okay so I know that these are ready to be harvested, and that's awesome, but I really need you to get your construction up. We can have robots harvest the rice plant. Okay, I want you to actually come do this right now, please. Because I really need construction and we are so close. We are so close, ladies and gentlemen. So close. And we can always harvest fish, so I do not think that we're going to starve. Almost there. Let's tear it apart. Well, now you got this. You got this. Fantastic. Level four. Get out here and build the wind turbine, please. And please don't botch it. Success. Yes, disconnected generator. Well, that's because we don't really have it connected to anything at the moment, which is understandable. We're going to put one of these in and we are going to give ourselves a light so that we no longer have that darkness. Uh, and of course, my little wall light. I absolutely adore these. And we'll go ahead and we'll put one in over here too. In fact, I'm going to disallow that for now. We'll have power here shortly. And we are going to need to get a conduit going over this way. Because we will have to put our little robot friends in over here. Which means we probably won't have enough for this. So let's go ahead and if I remember right, this thing was huge. Yes, this thing is massively huge. So we'll put this in over here. Hopefully this doesn't... Watch, it's going to not have enough watts. Oh, dear. Oh, don't even joke like that. Actually, that's actually a very good point. I had not considered that. Um, now I'm worried. It requires 800 watts. How much does this put out? Oh, yeah, this will be fine. 
as long as we've got enough wind. Yes, hopefully the wind picks up. We need batteries. Yes, we do need some batteries. And that will be next on our list. I'm not sure if we have them researched yet. Uh, power. Aha, we do indeed. So we could probably go ahead and throw one in here. Actually, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. Um, oh, look at that. The hitbox things are kind of weird. So we could actually have it like right there or right there. We'll just put it in there. Pay no mind to the small, like small details, small details. Oh, and you're going to build the battery first. Okay, that's fine. Just get it done. And then we shall start our robot friends. Yes. Battery's low. Mm. Oh, I think we need to have a power conduit going. There we go. Could you just come do this, please? Thank you. Yes. So the robots now have power and we've got a battery. Things are looking infinitely better. So let's go ahead. We have a droid and a battle droid and another droid. This is fantastic news. So let's start crafting. So let's manufacture just one worker droid for now. Um, hold on. I just want to use this kit. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? I am a complete dum-dum. I didn't even need to do any of this. <laughs> okay. Well, this whole time we were rushing for power to save ourselves from something that didn't have to be an issue. So, but at least we have power now so that we can recharge our droids. This is fantastic news. Um, since you'll be here for a while, we think we should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Hmm. We shall call it. What is? Okay, so our faction is way of the AI. Yes. And we will just call this base one. Why not? Nice and simple, not super exciting. And we have a robot who is now going to go off and do all kinds of things. So now that we actually have a droid, we do need to build a, um, a charger pad because I don't really want them reliant on these droid batteries. Um, but it, I might have to research that. So let's go over here and take a look at androids. Um, worker droids. Nope. We have all this. So we should be able to just build that. Well, this was an in incredible waste of time. We're going to turn that off. We don't need to be powering this at the moment. Okay, then. Um, it's under production? No. Furniture. Oh, our brazier. Yes, we need that eventually. Um, is it under power? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what it's under, actually. That is a very good question. I guess we should just go by one at a time. Miscellaneous. Ooh, hibernation pad. This is what we need. A relatively flat circular pad where robots can hunker down and go into hibernation mode. I believe they can also pat charge from this. So let's go ahead and just put a few of them in here. I'm going to build two of them because, yes, these robots are pretty great. Um, they cannot learn any skills at all. This, they're just fixed, but they can at least do some medical help if I get hurt. They're incapable of intellectual, social, artistic animals. But if my person gets hurt, they can rescue, which 
my person cannot self heal. So let's go ahead and get our work situation put forward. So droid one worker bot. Guess what? You are also our doctor at number one. Um, now my person can bed rest closer at a two, but I want her researching most of the time. I don't really want her growing or constructing. I want the robots to do it. And that's kind of the whole point. Um, they cannot fish, which is fine. Um, they can cook, which will be great. And they can haul and clean. So we've got the one. And the robot's going to build the pads. So this is great. So they pull 70 watts. Um, and then what we can do is we can just build this battle droid. I don't want to build it yet. Um, and I'm going to turn one of these off. Oh, I cannot. Okay. Okay, then. We're going to need some better power type stuff going on. Okay, I just want you to research. You shouldn't be really doing anything researching. Oh, and of course, I'm a dum-dum. I haven't set what to research. A research project might be in our favor. So, I think we're going to go ahead and research solar panels. And that's to supplement this absolutely garbage type of power. Unfortunately, the nearest thermal vent is over here outside our protective wall. I probably will eventually build over here and we'll bring power along over here. And, you know, this is what we're going to end up having to do. Um, I want to equip the robot with some kind of weapon. Um, not a minigun, though. So I guess no weapon for now. And the great thing about these robots is they do not require... They do not require sleep. All they require is power. So we can come over here to needs and we can see the energy. Um, yes. So it can eat, but it can also charge on these things, which is great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and allow these things now to be built so that robot friend will go do that. And now we're going to plan our next base expansion. We need to get a cooler um, for all this food as well as a kitchen. So what I'm going to do with all this stone is I am going to expand the zone, you know, probably over here. And then we're going to shrink the zone. I know this is probably triggering to a lot of people, but that's how I like to do it because I'm lazy. Yes, go my robot minions, go. And we're going to just kind of, oops. We're going to just kind of fill this in as we've been going. Go ahead and we will throw a door in here and a door in here. And I want all rooms to be accessible from every room. So we'll throw in another one right there. And of course, this needs to be hauled urgently, please, Mr. Robot. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and mark these for hauling as this as well. Because this is not going to be a storage room. Actually, we might make this our storage room and make this the kitchen. Hmm. Intriguing idea. robot help it's so fantastic okay so let's think about this for a minute this is going to be in the bedroom so i kind of almost would want this over no that's not going to work uh, that might work i'm going to expand this room a bit i think is what i'm going to do i'm going to expand it down actually you know no what we actually need to be doing 
is we need to start moving over to stone. We've got plenty of stone here. There's no reason why we shouldn't be doing that. We now have Mr. Robot Helper, and we could have a second Robot Helper as well with all this power, which we might just do. So let's go ahead and get our, not an art bench. Where's the stone cutting table? Am I completely blind? Oh, I might be. Stone cutting table, here we go. So we're going to just plop this, I don't know, I guess just right there is fine. Um, we are gonna need to mark some more trees for friendly deforestation. Let's go ahead and get that going. Yes, go my robot minion, go. And I'm actually gonna come over here and assemble. Is this a worker droid? Yes. I'm gonna actually have you come over here and assemble a worker droid. Another one. We need more help. Go, robots, go! And droid one, you have an absolute boring existence. You're going to make any stone block and you are going to do this forever. And your primary work is going to be crafting. If I can find it. Craft. There you are. This is your existence. For the time being. And of course, if we get into trouble, we can just assemble our... Assault droid. A droid de car. And pretty much our person is just going to research, and that's all she's ever going to do for the time being. Is just get that intellectual and research up. Now, fortunately, she does have one, two flames for intellectual, so she's going to learn this super fast. Look at that. That is fantastic. And we're going to go ahead and mark these for Hall. And we have 360 rice. This is fantastic. Suddenly our food sh shortage is not looking so bad. And we can actually also just have them go hibernate if we ever want to. Which we will do with the battle droid. No sense having it wander around doing nothing that we really need. So energy. Um... It's not using batteries, so they must be topping off, off up over here, which is exactly what I wanted. Soulless automation, I can't feel. Yes, that is correct. And of course, we have a robot that's doing nothing at the moment. Well, we can't have that. So let's go ahead and let's make this our storage room and we'll make this our freezer. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So we are going to um, copy settings and we are going to do a new stockpile zone. We're going to throw this in here and we are going to paste these settings and then we are going to delete this zone. Low medicine and food. Well, that'll be fixed shortly. Um, visitors have arised from a base. Oh, this is from... Um, Yes. Yes. They're afraid to enter your territory. No guest beds. You know what? We can build some really quick. Come on in. Come in, visitors. Come visit Robot Heaven. And we will build you a tiny little bed over here in the corner. How many of... How many are there of you? Oh, there's five of you. Okay. Well, that is a lot. Um... Well, okay, well, you're our guest, but um, you're getting sleeping spots. Oh, and I can't put them here, can I? Okay, well, you're just all gonna have to cram in there. This is the best we can do at the moment. This is what you're gonna have to do. And we're gonna have to mark for guests. There you are. And we won't charge you any money because we're nice like that. Okay, now let's focus on making our fridge. 
So we are going to need temperature. Where are you? Yes. Over the wall cooler. Here we go. So we want to make it so it's cold in here. And we are going to want to expand this. And we do have some limestone, some marble, and some granite. I'm going to start with some limestone because we have a lot of it. So structure. We are going down to wall and we're going to switch to limestone. And we're going to expand this out quite a bit. And this we will reinstall. And okay, we'll just build a copy. Then we will deconstruct, 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 and deconstruct. And we will hold off on building that until our room is enclosed. Now, we're also going to need to worry about a kill box soon. Um, and our power situation is fine for the moment, but this is not going to last for very long. This is why we're doing solar panel to have an additional one here. We should probably also get some more. Um, let's go ahead and throw down another growing zone. Because, of course, why not? This one's going to be a little bit smaller, but we are going to go ahead and plant some potatoes. Potatoes are great. They take a while to cook or to grow. And that will be amazing. Also, a quick way of gaining wealth, which we're going to want to do because we're going to need friends, is we're probably going to do a drug growing, yes, and cultivation. And we have lots of limestone, so let's go ahead and expand. Oh, not enough stored. Oh, really? We have marble. We have lots of marble, apparently. Okay, well, sure. Let's make it out of mar Well, marble's good for art, but I don't think our person's very artistic. Let's see, art. Nope. You're, ter you're terrible at art. So, we can build with marble. So let's go ahead and build marble wall. Yes. So our, this is going to be basically our bedroom for the time being. This can be destructed. Yes. And then we will build through here. And we will build a copy of this and place it there once that's deconstructed. Actually, I think I would rather have that there. So this is going to be our cooler, but it's also going to be our butcher area. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to build a butcher table. But one of the things about butcher tables is that they will infect the whole area. I don't really want to worry about that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a little tiny little room and it's going to go something. We don't have any limestone. That's right. Okay. Marble. We have lots of marble apparently. So we're going to go like this. Excellent. And we'll build a small wooden door. Now, what this is going to essentially do is it's going to make this a separate room so that our food will not get infected. We do not want our food to be infected with a butchering table because that increases the risk of food poisoning, which we do not want. And it's less of an area that we have to actually cool. Although it did just kind of make this area, which is kind of useless at the moment. I don't know what we will put there, but for the time being, that will be fine. Let's go ahead and get a electric stove up and going. And we'll put that in here for now. And we're going to go ahead and add a bill for simple meals. 
and we're going to do until we have X, and we're just going to keep 10 on hand for now. And this will spire, spoil in four days, because all it is is just cooked rice. So we don't even have to cool this at the moment. Once we start getting meat products, then... Oh, oh, hello. What are you? A wild pod, huh? Oh, boy. This lumbering mass of... Apparently, decomposing plant matter is a wild pod, a sentient mycoid creature native to some jungle-infested planets on the rim. The wild pod is almost impervious to gunfire, with bullets simply being absorbed into its mass without doing much damage, but very weak to fire. Interestingly, it reproduces asexually by releasing clumps of spores every few weeks, so its children are completely wild and independent from it, with no concept of parenthood. Although risky, the wild pod can be hunted or farmed for a decent amount of edible raw fungus. Okay, well, we're just gonna stay away, Mr. Um, Mr. Nasty. That's what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and get this bedroom set up, shall we? And then we shall reinstall this here. We're gonna go ahead and build an end table and a dresser. This will be a fantastic room and she'll be very, very happy. And we've got plenty of marble, so we might as well be doing some flooring. Oh, hello. Hello, you beautiful, beautiful flooring. We can just do random paving marble. Because we have essentially an unlimited source of stone with our Mr. Robot. Isn't it great? Isn't it fantastic? We've got some potatoes planted, and we're going to need to haul things. Now, later on, when we start running out of stone, a disease malaria. Oh, no. One of your colonists has gotten sick from malar malaria. Ensure that you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure they get proper treatment and spend as much time in bed as possible. Ugh. Okay, then. Well, guess what? This is going to be set as medical. And I'm sorry, but you are going to rest until healed. And this room is not ideal. But you are going to get treatment from the robot at 67%. No, not the wooden bed. I want you. Fortunately, we've gotten ahead of it pretty quickly. Hopefully, we're not going to die from this. Oh, that's ticking up pretty quick. We're going to have to keep on top of this for sure. They've had enough of you. Oh, they were dis awfully disappointed by their stay. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Screw you guys. You can leave. Fine. Well, we won't allow any more guests. Okay. Get out of here then. We opened, we gave you sucker. We gave you shelter. How are you doing? How is your health? Malaria immunity. Yeah, we're pulling ahead of it, but we're still gonna have to keep on top of it. And we fortunately have quite a bit of medicine. Oh no, we're actually outside. You need wood, huh? Okay, well, come chop this wood down. We can't have our person outside. Come on now, especially while ill. Come on, come do this. Please, go build the door. Thank you. Yeah, they're just laying out in the rain. 
That's not going to help our malaria. And we're going to need some lights in here, though. It's pretty dark. The wooden bed is awful, apparently. Well, we can have the robots build a new one. Sixty-two percent. Yes, fantastic. Just gonna have to just relax. Fortunately, we have our robots to do things. While they are in bed. Droid one, of course, is just having a lovely time here. Doing nothing but building stone blocks. We have a ton of marble. And we can actually... No. No. Get back in bed. Thank you. No. Get back in bed. You need to be on bed rest number one and research number two. Thank you. I think we have enough wood. I think we have enough blocks for now. Let's go ahead and suspend this for now and mark some wood for harvesting. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Soulless automation, the way of the future is robots. robot friends go and these are going to start spoiling so i do want to switch this over let's go ahead and allow this now although this cooler is going to be quite a power sink hopefully our person will be healed shortly the idea is yeah we're, we're pretty far ahead of it um can be treated in one hour Oh, thank you, Droid 1, or Droid 0. You are fantastic. Okay. Sorry, but you need to come over here and treat. Grab a medicine. 59%. Ugh, not so great. But we're still pretty far ahead of it. And the plan is that we need to get this food situation up and going. So let's go ahead and do another stockpile zone, shall we? Yes. And let's just do into here, over here, all over there. Yes. And that we will deconstruct. We don't need this here anymore. Now, this is going to be set at important priority, and we are going to allow all foods. And then over here, we are going to not allow any foods. Fantastic. We are also going to allow corpses to be put in here. But I only want... I do not want anything rotten in here. This can have corpses, of course. We'll allow all, but we will only allow... Rotten. Excellent. Colonists needs beds. No, no, they, they, they really don't. They don't need any beds. They're robots. Okay, and you are bored apparently. Okay, well, you know what? We can, uh, we can, we can deal with that. So let's go ahead and do another base expansion, shall we? Fantastic. Now these are frozen, not refrigerated. Oh, why not? Oh, because I am a dum-dum. So we want this down as a freezer. 20 degrees. Now, unfortunately, that's going to eat up our power pretty quickly. Yes, but it is now frozen in here. Hopefully the wind is going to pick up. And our person will, of course, be up and mobile in no time. 
well, in a few more days. Oh, and they're bored. They're bored again. All right, then. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a bathroom going. Because that was one thing we hadn't done yet, was a bathroom. And we are definitely going to need one. But first, let's go ahead and do another grow zone. I know, I know. But this time, we are going to do heal root. Because we are going to need a surplus of that. Up here is where we're going to do our drug production. And we also need to do where's our more floors. Here we go. No, just under floors. So till the soil. We need to till the soil so that it is more efficient. Fantastic. And instead of just crapping out in the middle of nowhere, we of course are going to need a better bathroom. And I think the best place to put it will probably be over here because we're going to need water pumps and all the goodness. So we're gonna go ahead and mark some of this for deconstruction and mining. And I don't really want to cut this off of. So we'll go ahead and build. No, that looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. Let's not do that. Let's not do that at all. I guess we could put a bathroom in here. But I'd rather not. Um. So I guess we will throw it down over here. Might as well. And these robots are... Oh, let's see. A hunting lodge opportunity. Our prime counselor, Kalushin of Funam, has informed us that his faction has a hunting lodge near our outpost. The lodge is already outfitted with facilities to sleep, butcher animals, cook the meat. Usually there is a group of guinea pigs gathered there this time of year. The herd of animals will move in 10 days is willing to tell us the location in exchange for 265 silver. Um, no. No, thank you. We have our rice, and it is all we need. How is your health doing? Immunity is 75.4%. We could probably get you out of bed, but I am not going to risk it, as it is our only colonist. At the moment. You're the only one capable of researching and therefore are indispensable. But let's go ahead and get this bathroom up and going. We have over 400, almost 500 marble blocks. So let's go ahead and just do some flooring, shall we? Yes, flooring, floors for all. You get a floor. I get a floor. We all get a floor. And let's go to more floors because I prefer that. And I like... What is it? Is it the random one that I like? Um, Random paving. Yes. Let's go ahead and some flooring in here. Is this necessary? No. Do I like it? Yes. We have free labor with these robots. So we might as well start doing it. while I figure out the whole bathroom situation. Okay. So if we come over here, down here to, um, where is it? Hygiene, here we go. We can even put sprinklers. That'll be fantastic. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, I'm going to focus on the bathroom. We're gonna get our water system up and going so we're not just you know, staring out at the beach, you know, on the pot. Now that we have some fecal sludge, yeah, isn't that delicious? We can start turning into biosolids, which will ramp up our plant production quite a bit. So when we come back, 
um, we'll finish the flooring and then start on a better bathroom. Until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.